This is the Quirky Writer. It's easily the most unique keyboard I've ever put my hands on. It's a wireless, mechanical, typewriter style keyboard, and it's actually an awesome typing experience. It's very clicky and clacky, but it does cost $350. So the first thing I want to do is actually just give a tour of this product because this is a very attractive product that will get a lot of looks if you have it on your desk. So starting with the construction, it's built out of all metal which feels absolutely amazing. And the metal has this like matte textured look to it that both feels good and looks really cool. It also has some heft to it so when you're picking it up or putting it down it feels like you're dealing with something that's made out of metal that's high quality and that actually does cost a lot. It's not plastic painted like metal, it's actual metal. Over on the back here, you can see it is a tablet stand, so you, well, it could be a phone or a tablet stand, so you can put something in there, and since it does operate through Bluetooth, you can just connect it to your device and then be typing on the keyboard with it up there. I think that's a really attractive feature, not really suited for like class or something because it's extremely loud, but if you wanted to keep it in your like desk or your room or your office or anything, it does work like that as a Bluetooth keyboard with a tablet or phone or anything like that. And then on either side of that stand, you see these scroll wheels. Uh, they don't actually scroll, but the first thing, when I took this out, the first thing Byron asked me was, are those real scroll wheels? Whereas with a real typewriter, these would scroll the page. I wish that they were actual wheels and you could use them to scroll on the web page you're on, but they're just stuck in place and they don't actually do anything. So maybe in the next iteration, if there is another iteration, it's kind of a unique product, so there might not be. But if there is another version of this, if these could be scroll wheels, that would be nice. Moving on to the keycaps, obviously you can see they are circular keycaps, and which is typewriter style, which kind of makes sense since you're going for the typewriter look. Um, they also have a little indent in the middle, so they're very comfortable. Your fingers just fit right in there, which is a great experience as to the typewriter appeal and whatnot. There are, they are kind of small compared to regular square keycaps, so there's a little bit more travel from the center of each keycap when you're moving your fingers, but you get used to it in no time, and honestly, it's just like a cool factor. So like the keycaps are exactly like they would be on a typewriter, and really adds to it more than it takes away. And then these switches underneath the keycaps are Cherry MX Blues, which makes sense uh, because they're nice and clicky and tactile like a typewriter would be. So it really does like immerse you in the feeling of a typewriter. And it's a lot of fun to type on, I'll be honest. And the last thing I want to mention is this bar over here. Even though the scroll wheels aren't actual scroll wheels and they don't work, this return bar over here is actually an enter key. So when you click that and it's connected to computer, it goes to the next line, it searches it, it does whatever an enter key would do. And it's also a macro button and there's like a specific key combination, it's FN and something, um, that you can set it to a macro. So when you click this button, it can do any combination of up to five keys. So if you're editing or doing something where you want a macro, you can record it into this, which is a cool way of uh, customizing it a little bit. I keep it as an enter key because I just think it's really cool to type something and then click that to enter it. Uh, it makes it feel very retro, retro and adds to the typewriter appeal and the old fashioned type thing. Yeah. So I want to talk about battery life since this is a wireless keyboard that connects through Bluetooth. Uh, it is, there's a battery in there that you have to charge. You know, I can't really speak to the battery life because a month ago I took it out of the box and started using it and I haven't had to charge it since. So that's a good thing. It means it has good battery life, but I don't know exactly how long it will last because I haven't had to charge it yet and it's been about a month. So very impressive there. And when you do charge it, it just has a little micro USB port along the back. So it's very easy to charge, but I haven't had to charge it yet. And the last thing I want to talk about before a little typing test is the typing experience. At first, it's very weird because of the keycap spacing and just you have to get used to the type of feel, but you really get over it. It's a little bit of a learning curve at the beginning, and once you're used to it, it, it isn't that big of a difference. I can actually type with this keyboard as fast as I can with any other keyboard now. And at first, when I took it out of the box and started using it, I was like, there's no way I actually use this keyboard as my main keyboard. It's just too different to type on. But a month later, I'm gonna keep using this because I type just as fast on it, and it's just a really nice typing experience. All right, so here we are. Here is the keyboard. Uh, I'm gonna do just a little typing test. It's not the most necessary thing in the world, but I like to add a little something extra to the videos other than just being an unboxing and looking at the product. So this is it in real use after being used to the keyboard, so it's not the first time I've typed on it. It's just to show that I can type on it pretty regularly now after getting used to it. And um, I usually type around 100 words per minute, maybe a little more if I'm feeling fast that day. So we'll see what happens. And I'm gonna keep the mic on so you can hear the switches press and hear what it sounds like, because it sounds very nice. So just enter a typing race and here we go. All 
Alright, so 98 words per minute is just about what I'm looking for, and this was the first time I did the test, so I'm not surprised. There it is, there's a keyboard with the typing test, works like a regular keyboard. Alright, so here I just wanted to show how you can set a macro uh, to the return bar. So to start that, you just click FN in the return bar, and then you can type in anything. For the purpose of this, I'll just do macro, so M-A-C-R-O, and then you have macro, and then if I click that, it types in macro, 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 etc. So it just shows that you can make a macro with the return bar, but I typically keep it at enter because it's cool just to type something and then click enter and it goes. Yeah, so that's it. That's gonna be it for this video. Definitely an awesome product and a great keyboard. Worth $350, probably not, but it's a really cool kind of antique a novelty item. So if you have plenty of money to throw around, go ahead and purchase one and use it and you'll like it, I promise you that. But it's really not that practical and probably not worth the money, but awesome product. Thank you for watching, subscribe to see more content. And as always, stay classy.